the other side, that's why. Okay, so they baited themselves. So well, interesting enough here. Yeah. And you're gonna see. Right. You know, okay. secret. They've been. Uh, they've already been through quite the ringer of the first phase. I know we had a couple of hiccups there, and they're already feeling a little bit of fatigue. You can see them. They did come off a nice little win, a little down trot right there. But they're looking to keep those chins up. Come on with another big victory. But uh, we're getting to the back end of this one. It looks like Ogre is going to be uh, a final ban right there, removing that potent that's that's good beefy support. So, you know, and you need someone to be a little more aggressive, considering you already have the wisp. You need someone who can kind of move around. So, what is kind of your next best bet as far as getting a support who can kind of add pressure amongst all the? I feel lanes? like they need damage. I still think AA would be good. I think it, I think so it might actually fit now with the puck. It makes it a lot easier to yeah. be able to do things. Obviously, good around. against Dazzle. So yeah. Absolutely. It just seems like they like a lot of damage. EO and Batrider don't do that much damage. Gyrocopter probably, but he's going to be under a lot of pressure, or just Cyclone. And Puck's good for initiating, but he needs follow-up damage. I was so. thinking they might go for like a Witch Doctor, because it's pretty good versus like the Brew oh, and all so that. Oh, so good against but the Brew. I mean, and, and Bulba. Naga, though. And, but, but I think I think Bulba's going to be playing offlane in this, with, this, oh. with this lineup, right? I know he's like the one of the biggest preachers as far as getting a Witch Doctor against a Brew. Wait, though, then so. who's going to play the second support? I think, I think it's going to be GM and Sing Sing. Sing Sing support? I'm he not sure. I think they're going to change before. some stuff around. I'm not too yeah. sure. I was talking to him before and he said something about that, so I thought that's what we were going to see. Interesting. Interesting. Now we do have Super Furion. Alright, so Furion there, a little bit of that split push potential. Global presence, certainly, so if uh, stuff goes down. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. The Pie Cat Axe right now. The Slam Jam, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The man. And it's certain as all hell, but he's ready to chop off some That's some heads. damage, dude. That's only one support. Dude, he's not That's like a support, what, Puck or Batrider? Uh-oh. It's pretty greedy. It's really greedy. Really greedy. High mobile, too. A lot of blink potential there. A lot of high mobility. They're going to be all over the place. This is going to be a high octane. Well, it could just be a Wisp Axe jungle. This is what they've run before. I've seen them do it. Have they done it? Yeah, okay. They've done it before. I was going to say, are they going like to cut creeps sort of or something? Yeah, it's, it's like Wisp double stacks, and then he just tanks up. Like, he tanks a little bit and then like double salves X, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's pretty good. He got he had ridiculously fast level six. Like, I'm um, talking about insane. Oh, I did see that game. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. I remember this. It was really. It actually was really interesting. I like the concept. They also did it on Dire. So it's yeah. a little bit better on Dire than Radiant, it seems like. But cool. I like it. I like Axe a lot versus Slark. Yeah. And yeah. Dazzle, of course. He just really scrubs on somebody and he's killing like your support and then Axe just comes in and it's like, uh oh. And we do seem to have a crash. Oh, yes. The crash. The infamous crash. We've it's your fault, quite a bit. What? You saying me? Sam the you're man. You're cursed. Created by I am not yeah. cursed. I wasn't even involved in the first game. So what kind of pose is that? I mean, I know he's like no. casting finger of death, but. We're already going to the statues. All right. That's what it's come down to. Dude, the Dude. effigies are the best part. What else are you supposed to do during pauses? I don't know. What's this one? Before, Before bad for PA, praise to El God. We got but lots of pings coming out, too. Looks like people Show are really that. active right now. They really want to get into this game. And yeah, that's Loda. Did you already use both your uh, FNGs? I've used zero. I've used one. I was waiting for Zeus. What, were you waiting for like the perfect? Zeus cosmetics. Oh. oh wouldn't you want to like solidify the old looking Zeus maybe in no, history? No, that's Zeus is too shitty. <laughs> He is. He really is. Dude. Uh, yeah, he's not. Dude, you think I want to use my history. virtual clay on that? Sh virtual clay? No All right, thanks. so. So they're just going to. They're just going to leave the offlane or just have Boba run down there alone? Because Sing Sing has zero regen on Probably that Probably Boba. I guess so. Both teams, like gangs, separating from top to bottom, looking to invade or at least defend out. Yeah, what is that tree? For now. I haven't seen that one yet. It's the. It looks oh, like it's from like the one that's Zelda the, or something. Yeah, that's uh, that's from Nintendo 64. That's not a. Uh, like. It's not part of Dota. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought, dude. It's gonna come out of a tube later in Mario, I believe. Like one of those piranha <laughs> things. <laughs> Slark what? actually starting with a ring of protection and a stout shield. So All right. Feels like is, he, I guess he thinks he's gonna get a lot of pressure on him or something. I guess he thinks they're gonna go aggro. I just want to see him chop some Probably. heads off. That's really all hmm. I want right now. Well, we'll definitely see some of that. I hope so. And believe it or not, Puppy going with the Dazzle this game, I figured on Radiant. Uh, did they ban Marana? It just seems like something he'd always go to, they, especially Radiant they side. They like Dazzle like, so much, this patch. I don't yeah, it's all about, about okay. past couple of games, oh, it's okay. just been all about the Dazzle. Just straight, first pick it, and first phase. The one thing that concerns me for Team Tinker is that... They don't... I don't know. How do they, I don't really see how they're gonna... The only way they can really break towers is if they get a great pick off. Yeah. But do they need to break towers? I, don't, I feel like they don't really care. If Slark gets free farm, whatever, X will just somewhat counter him later. Mm -hmm. And then they can get a lot of map control with uh, Wisp and Batrider. It's not that bad. And Puck, of course. Yeah, I guess it's not so bad. When they're done, and it's kinda, the I mean, D. It's good that they... I mean, Secret grabs the Fury on last, but Team Tinker already has the Wisp. They can like move around, easily take, take control of the rat. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. They have a lot of, like... I mean, Gyro, too. You really want to face a fat Gyro? 
they don't have any disables. I mean, actually, they have, yeah, they really they have like pseudo disables with like sleep and sleep I don't think this, I don't sprout. think this gyro should get a BKB at all. He's gonna get so isolated if he does. He should just, just go tank. I think he just like. goes tank. Yeah. Like HOD plus whatever. HOD butterfly. Oh, we got a nice gyro set made by Loda himself. Yep. Look at him go. Wait, that's a Loda set? Yeah, yeah self-made. It's a Lion set, dude. Wow. Remember they had like the puck set, the gyro set. They have a lot of sets. Sorry. Look, it has it has the custom animations. Where's my too. set? Where's your set? I guess I've no fall back. I, 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 I have to fall back on like Zeus just being uh, looking like a wet knapsack. So, oh, well, here we go. First rune. Bounty, yummy, yummy there for Kuro, and oh, and we got a haste on top. Ooh, can we make something of this right here? Some action. Are they? Get, they are. Looks like they are going to do the double jungle thing that you're saying. That weapon right there. Holy moly! Sylvanar, dude. Decapitator. So big. Nightmare blade. So swole. That thing's big. I'm excited. They right. they have some big axe axes. Have you seen that big red one too? I like yeah. the big full blade where he has to hold it with both his hands. You know. I, I don't like, like the, the chain. way it attacks. Yeah. I don't like the chain the way it attacks either. But it looks like. Team Tinker did get the counter on the bottom ward. No, I mean, uh, Secret got the counter on the bottom ward down there, so... Alright. And nice they did dedicate there. both of their wards to the bottom lane as well. They didn't put any wards for Simba in the top oh lane. Oh yeah, so Bulba back in the off lane here. Is it a Big Daddy Boots first? Yeah, Big Daddy Boots first. Yeah. GG, 5 armor. There's nothing a Batrider can really do there. Alright, so Sing Sing. He's gonna be hard to bring down. Puck mid lane just kinda has you go, but... That's Extremely well versed on that mid brewmaster should be able to hold his own and already Simba gonna get pressured a bit, but you know, not too much trouble here for your wish. Gyro's gonna get what he wants pretty much out of this lane. Are we gonna see any sort of early movement from a lot of these teams? It just seems like uh, when Axe is ready to fight, maybe after Tranks, he'd say. Mm hmm Yeah, it looks like he's already getting ready to start doing his stacks. He stacked up the big camp once, I believe. Oh no, he missed it, I guess. Dude, you got easy trolls, man. Trolls are such so good for X. But I think he missed the stack. Oh, spin Lord. Come on. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at the pirouettes, baby. This guy's a ballerina. Is it a pirouette? Did we yes, ever clear that up? I, see, last time I said Torjete, I did get corrected. There's apparently a lot of ballerinas out there who watch Dota. <laughs> I can tell you for sure, though, pirouette is definitely a spin. All right? I believe you. I was lost. I don't even know what you guys are talking about, but now I do. Torjete, it's ballet. Yeah, I know. Well, you got to get with the arts there, buddy. All right, man. Whatever. It's all right. You probably what? No salsa? Meringue? No, man. I, <laughs> I wish, dude. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. What's your problem, man? How to what? smuggle drugs? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. whoa. What? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> back to the game. <laughs> Not today. So back at the hand, 10-3, Sing Sing, man. Pulling together some really nice strong CS, but, you know, S4 is right there to match it up. But so do you think both teams are going to play quiet until Ooh, it's he's time got to oh, Sing Sing. Hit. Okay, he, got, he just got the mana for that orb, too. Yeah. That could have been pretty dangerous for him. Now he's going to be stuck without any he mana. He got juked by the fake cast. Fake clap. Typical Two. S4, getting a DD first rune as well. Dude, you guys are all haters on S4. Dude, he gets DDs in haste every time. Not last game. What did he get last Not game? He got bounties like five times in a row. His first two runes were that. He kept talking about it. Alright, whatever, man. The bounty runes. That's just as strong. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. Man, oh man. Look at, look at the spins. Unbelievable. He gets those quick clears, but... Bottom lane here. Big Daddy just trying to keep Bulba away from any sort of XP, but he's a bat rider after all, and he's kind of just juking and jiving, getting a little piece of the pie right there, but now he'll just kind of get the hell away from me, freaking Naga, and... Uh-oh! Well, uh -oh, oh, my hey, how's it going here? right there? Hey! Whoa, here we go, we might get it! Oh, smack goes, oh, he might get denied! Yeah, the deny is gonna be there. Bulba gets taken down from the Dragons, and nice Simba will be forced to rotate for this one and has to waltz himself all the way Wait, back. Wait, so what does the level one bat rider do at this point? Because he can't really that's stack what I was gonna say. Axe is stacking. Yeah, that's two I think he has to go in the enemy team. jungle, somehow. What? He has yeah, to try to, he has to He just tried! He would just die! Yeah, he can't do it. This is the problem, Where we else got can two, he go? two uh, potential then He jungle. goes to the jungle and Axe switches out with him. Axe and Wisp go bottom. Well, they gotta hurry and get Axe leveled up so that he yeah, can't hand over the jungle to Bat, because he'll need it at some point. It's clear he's getting nothing in this bottom lane. Nothing. Homing oh, missile max build. missile. Homing oh, missile man. build. Dude, Loda likes this. The zone factor right there. I think there's a lot of damage. Stay the hell away from me or I'm gonna put a rocket in your mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it actually does an insane he's amount of already, damage. He's already right up in the, the tower's grill right there. 21 and 4 CS. Not too shabby. Simba. First to the scene, and it's gonna be a bounty run. And that will leave the uh, haste yeah, right haste. there for S4 and fog. Not even gonna say it. <laughs> Let's just check the computer for some third party, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, secret ha always has actually even the last game they just do a great job of checking both runes. Their yeah, supports man. are always on it, or Simba's always or uh, Fly's always on it. Oh, look at this! 
Smoked out. Piecat looking to get him potentially in on the action right here. And Simba's got a goal. He's going to TP back. back. He should TP back to the lane. So this could actually end up working out for them. They'll be patient for it. They know he's gone. They know he doesn't have much mana to work with. So he can't really be going anywhere except for back home. And they'll just probably count on the fact that he here has to comes. make a return. And here he is. Piecat. Wants Max to Missile. It. Oh, my goodness. And there we go. Spinning it about, instantly sends the trees away to not give him more, but that's all it needs. Loda picks up the official first blood of the game right there. You're standing for Team Tinker, getting it done. But not too bad. Yep. Rocket good. Rocket good. That was just a nice rotation from Pycat. Level 3 does so much damage. Can't do much about it. Oh, okay. Ooh, he gets hit by the clap. Wait, he didn't not get slowed. What the heck? That was really weird. Valve? So Dota, bugging out. Dota 2. Oh, Bulba's leeching experience from his mid laner to get his level 2. So desperate he can time for <laughs> desperate messers, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh it's it that thing! Oh, oh no. my god. S4. That's my courier now. Walt is on back, maybe getting a little bit of information to see if. Uh, oh, it looks like he's going to make a rotation toward top. Row, row. This could be dangerous for EGM, especially. Rocket ain't going to do anything versus that. Uh oh, there's three. Uh, there's three, though. What is he planning on doing here? He moves on four. He wants he, to go for Loda. The split's out right now. And they want to go right for Loda. Wisp trying desperately to try to heal him on up right here, but a few more right clicks could do it. There's your Cyclone, and this should set up a nice, easily takedown on Loda if they want it. There's going to be the Rock, and yep, they get it right there. Nothing uh, poor little Wisp can do about that one. And on the backhand side, uh, just a little Simba. So a return Where did kill right go there? there? He just I disappeared. have no idea. Just yeah, he's back up bottom like, lane. Good luck, guys. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> no, nothing I can do about Can't this one. he just call during the panda? That's what I thought so, too, right? Yeah, he would have. I think he would have saved them. Yeah, what's I'm going not sure on where he went. Was he low? I don't know. He I didn't wasn't get that low. Save. Oh, he has to go bottom. They're going for the tower. It's denied. Very nice. And oh, no, no spin. the shadow walk. But they do get it. More Ooh. spins come out, and they chop down Kuro, and now Sing Sing in on it. But, hey, your tower gets denied there. From Tinker, and uh, they do get a kill. So, Not secret a benefit with a little bit of extra gold, but Team Tinker also grab a lot from that. Yeah, even though Pike, I guess, kind of ditched up top, he's having some nice rotations either way. Got that top kill, moved down bottom, helped secure, kill the Slark, and deny the tower. So, what's your goal? I'm curious now. You know, call me a noob, but what, do you, what is your goal as a support Naga this game? What are you looking to contribute? He's been planted in this bottom lane, you know, looking to build up the levels. He's getting a nice bit of farm for himself, but what do you contribute to this team as a support Naga? You know, I would say first and foremost, uh, letting your panda get split off. It's get nice that uh, he has the ensnare in case Jaro does consider going to BKB. Uh, that extra bit of lockdown certainly does help. But uh, I'm curious to see where Big Daddy's going to be taking this. Just use sleep effectively in team fights. And that's like okay versus their lineup, but not that much. Minus arm is also okay with weave, but I would say protecting Slark so you can get Shadow Dance and primarily pri protecting Panda, countering the lasso initiates. Well, they can they can get a nice initiation too if they get like a weave off and then you sleep, yeah. let the armor build up, and then you initiate with the Panda. You can actually do, do, be pretty devastating. Mm -hmm. I imagine by now PyCat is level six, so we'll see how long they want to wait before they make their move and go for their first real four dunks dark pack, two in pounds and zero in his uh, essence ship. How oh, you doing Bulba. there, Bulba? Oh man. Easy grab for Curl right there, knowing Bulba is still starved for a little bit of farm, trying to take the jungle. Night Vision OP. Night Vision OP. OP, dude. Ganking with that Midas, too. Putting it to use. And oh man. The greed is good, and they continue to push this top lane. This tower is very low, so one more swift push, and they'll be able to take it down. But game is, game is fully committed even, to that, dude. Oh, here we go. They want to call a defense here. Puppy's on it right now. Rocket's already up, but jump forward. Oh, look what Runa Ford has! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Pycat is able looks to like see might get away, one. though. Uh-oh, can he get the long ball rock? EGM looks like he's probably going to be the, the dead one here. Yeah. He he's got his tether, tether up. And he, yep, he's good. Up to the north and away from this one. Does get stunned, and S4 not going to let him go away easy. He's going well into the tower for this one, and, well, there's another rock and the ensnare, and EGM will end up going down. So, nice grab for them. 4-2, to your new score. Secret? Are you going to blame that on the haste rune? No, that was... That was Dude, come on. Have you seen an illusion? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice rotations overall by, by Secret. Showing that they just, overall their team play is pretty phenomenal. They just went up there and now they're going to be able to contest this tower. And they didn't end up losing their tier 1 either. They actually ended up saving it with that rotation. Loda's back, making it happen, but here we go. Kuro on the hunt for Pycat. Here comes Sing Coil, immediately dropping and looking to turn back on him, but he pulls out the Shadow Walk. Can we get Sight? Can we get Chop? Can we get Dunks? There it is! Grabbed right there. It's going to be Pycat. First of the game. Ah. I said good day, sir. I said 
Get the hell out of here. Four to three now. Got no wards on the map for either team right now. A little lackluster as far as the map vision, but hey, Bulba, this has been a, a little bit of space for himself to try to build up farm. Your Batrider is level five, but, you know, Tranks and just some 900 gold. Do you think his build would have mattered at this point now, too? Since he's died to two coils, if he had max pounce, couldn't he just, like, pounce out of the coil a couple of times and lived? Probably. Probably. I mean, if he didn't have the Midas, too, and wasn't, like, he's moving around so much when he has the Midas, but... I mean, I think the Midas is fine. You're going to need something like that as a Slark yeah. versus a Gyrocopter. You need to be able to flash farm a bit. I mean, Dark Pack should also be okay getting you out of sticky yeah. situations like that, but just not as slippery as most Slarks. Yep. We both, Panda and Puck, pick up their blinks at the same exact time, so they're both wanna, for both. Yeah, they'll both want to put it right to use, but S4, who had recently acquired that blink, has now got some balls to the backhand side, and and that's oh. all it takes. Uh -oh. Oh, coming in from behind. Put some to sleep here, and... Going for positioning, looks like they're actually locked onto Singh here, but there we go. Jump forward, Dazzle gets the kill, and another chop gonna come through. S4 does end up going down. It's gonna be a one for one, but the grab on S4 surely makes it better. Look like they didn't see the blink on Sing Sing. Yep. Bobo just needs to find somewhere to catch up. He's on his way to toward his blink though, thankfully. Mm. But not this game is still it's still fairly even. I mean, not much not much going on. It seems like Team Timber is kinda getting away with the Batrider even though he's not having a good time. Oh, Kuro with this Midas, he's been finding some kills. He did get caught out earlier, but I still find I still think he's finding some really good farm on his Slark and you know, we'll we'll see where he decides to take it. But yep. I think go. one point of his passive is also really, really good too. Because you step one strength every time, so that's like an extra nineteen damage a hit. Yep. But yeah. I've actually I've never never seen anybody do that build actually, not in a long time. I don't think I've either. Innovative. There we go. Looking to make it work here. They go ahead and step back. He's on top. Jump forward. Clap. And EGM might be in big trouble and will be. It's just a sweet hit job right there. But Sting trying to get redemption. Pulls out the coil. Silence is on both. Call down now coming out from Loda. But immediate split return fire coming out from S4. Trying to pursue Sing. Will be able to avoid the stun. And well, it's going to be ults for ults right there. But no one going down except for EGM early on. Oh, he's still here. Air Panda just gonna try to Dyer's mess with Loda a little bit, but you know, six to four. Four TPs, even though it's mm -hmm. a Panda ulti. Fairly even. Rotation's over. I'm sure somewhere Bulba's finding his farm. Simba still making it work right now. Got the null build, but we haven't seen too much global presence from him except for that early on gank. But now he shows up top lane just as I say that, and they're looking to make a go on Piecat. Cuts through the middle here. He's gonna get caught out. Oh, getting away. Where's my Wisp friend? There's your ensnare. Wisp does show up, but it might be too little too late now. Big dunk. damage though with the balls. There's going to be one dunk. Pie Cat says, don't, not so easy, buddy. Simba immediately going to be forced to retreat. Can they catch up with Kuro? They can't. Double chops coming out. Nice rotation there by EGM. And I think he's got his relocate online. Let's see if they try to go for somebody else really quickly with Sing Sing. Ooh, here we Looks go. Looks like here. they want Ooh. to. Immediate weave. Jump forward. Clap. Sing with that. A little bit of low armor is able to get to the low ground and away from this. They're not going to be able to catch on to anyone, but... Pycat man, the ults are coming together now. What is he, 4-0? Oh. Regular Benny Hanna. That's, that's an early gem picked up by No-Tail. Certainly is. Do you think that's just more for getting early map control in the game? Just Yeah, it's really good with the Naga illusions. I mean, you just can constantly send them out, then you put the gem back on the courier over and over. And you're able to scout out a lot. But it looks like... I don't know, it looks like Team Tinker are getting a lot more out of this game so far. They have their Blink now up on their axe, they have Blink up on Puck, Bat's working on his, they got Ancient Stacks coming along. Oh! And th oh, did oh. they get the gem there? Uh -oh. That'll be absolutely huge if they did. And they did. Wow, the quickest gem grab and hand over immediately. Uh-oh. Yeah, so that's a big changeover right there. That's 1800 swing basically without it even showing it on the, on the gold ref. Rough. Rough stuff right there, so the map advantage that secret we're hoping to have is quickly handed over to Tinker and they so can how do they, utilize how that. how do they kill this axe? Like if he initiates one of them, is there anything they can do besides like sleep or pan to ult or something like that? It seems like he's been nearly invincible in most of these fights. He has like a thousand HP, wisp like overcharge and tether heal, but I mean he seems like super tanky. They really only have physical damage to deal with him. Yeah, and even when yep. he jumps in on someone, you know, not even a dazzle is gonna be able to aim up out, he's gonna look to get what he wants and not really a whole lot that's gonna be able to stop him from it. Not at least they itemize a bit better and start pulling together maybe sheeps or something. It's it's gonna be rough. Really yeah. rough. That's for sure. That looks like looks like Secret doesn't wanna fight at all right now, even though they do have panda. They're just sitting back and they're gonna be farming farming the jungle as best as they can. 
But Team Tinker has nice aggressive ward down up in that top side on the hill. So they're able to see any rotations going toward that top tower. So they're I probably going to play around that. <laughs> I feel like they really need to blow Wisp up early in these fights too. And yeah. Maybe that uh, that has to do with like Slark getting a Blink Dagger or something like that too. Yeah. They have to be able to bypass the Axe. And just throw him in the air probably. Yeah, throw him in the air with Cyclone and then kill the Wisp and then just leave him for later after yeah. everyone else is dead. Yeah, and even though Espor got a decently timed Blink Dagger, he's not really making too much progression, it looks like, unless there's something on the Courier coming out toward him. I don't know, I think at this point, I mean, brew has been known to be kind of that mid-game bouncer, but you got an Axe over there with his own Blink Dagger. He has something to say about you trying to control the tempo of this mid-game. Yep. You know, so he looks to kind of bite on the next one here. You already see PyCat looking ahead into enemy territory here to scout things out, and on the top lane they're doing more of the same, but... Relatively quiet for now, and no relocates really Radiance coming out yet. And looks like top lane is going to be the uh, next push target here. You see Simba calls out the ugly little piranhas, and now they're going to go ahead and take it to this tier one. Yeah, it looks like they should probably get this one because Team Thinker's mirror ma mirroring, and they're going to go for it. Looks like Kuroki in the mid lane. Uh oh, smoked up. Blazing Kuro making a now. nice rotation toward top lane though. He's he's fearing fearing himself his position a, lot, a little bit. A lot of Team Tinker missing on the map, so a little sketchy. But they have a nice little buddy buddy system up here, and EGM is still planted over here. Like I'm waiting. <laughs> he's like I'm in a really awkward spot, guys. Yeah, I hope they don't see me. <laughs> but they get the tower, no contention whatsoever, and for now they just continue to push on forward. The the, the weave and the uh, Riptide able to cl clear through those creeps rather quickly. And the weave. Did I say weave? Oh, did. sorry. Shadow wave. <laughs> it's cool, man. You're, I know you're a I big forgive you. guy. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Lo siento. Oh, there's an illusion rune. There you go. He got it. He did. Here we go. There you go. Nice. Ooh, aggressive smoke. But no Looks like they the saw it, though. Pycat definitely saw it. He yeah, pinged they're, it out. They're pinging like crazy here. And, and uh, secret know that on the bottom half of the map has got to be where Tinker currently residing because they don't see a whole lot of vision. But they do ping out top lane. And even though they saw oh, it, EGM could be in Slark. trouble. <laughs> Ah, uh, there it is. Jump in blink. Kuro, he's going to take down the ball, and he gets it done. Easy grab for him. Just nom 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 for Kuro, and he walks away. Splat. 7-7 seven, seven now. Didn't he have the jump? I think he put it on the courier. On the courier? Okay. Yeah. Looks like what? What is what is Simba going for? So he did, did he go back to the Midas? No, he went for the Maelstrom on the Furion, too. So All right. they're still trying to keep up a bit of pressure. Well, we'll see if he goes for the mobility next, like your blink dagger thereafter, but... For now, they have a nice little push thing happening, especially here in the top lane. They've gotten that tier 1 previously, and they already have this tier 2 down to half life, and Tinker have yet to really contest them and break past the top half of the map. And we might see the first lasso of the game, though. Ooh. Yeah, oh man, you always forget that there's almost a bat rider in the game. No, uh, Ooh, no offense no. to Bulba, of course, but not, not a big bat rider game so far. That actually could be a bit scary, him getting the weave up on him and the minus all the minus Oh armor. man, they do get a hold of Pycat here, he's getting a lot of damage, but on the back inside there is going to be your last, so Shalgrave's going to be out and they're trying to save out Big Daddy here, but how long can he live? He's going to get off the song here, and it's a song of, it's that song of get the hell out. Oh puppy, lots of damage, he's able to get away with that TP, orbing on forward, they do take down No-Tail at the end of this one, but they do get the return taking down the Puck, the better trade for them, but still not done yet. Batrider pressing on forward with his Wisp buddy, S4. Not a whole lot of mana to work with, and no clap at the ready here. Just trying to hightail it out of here, and the homie missile's already coming on in. That clap, not going to help a whole lot. Pycap's there. Oh! oh. Whoopsie. Oh. Whoopsie Whoops. Daisy. Whoops, a little too early there, but it doesn't matter. He does go down, and it is Pycap who gets the kill, and We've got to disconnect. The pause to make fun of that early chop. That was nice, though. I mean, they ended up... Pycap ended up living out of all that somehow. The yeah, fight just got surprised. completely split up. Bulba getting that lasso off on the... Uh, on the Naga, I guess they were they all focus fired on top of Bulba instead of going for the to finish off Pycat and just yeah the team fight actually ended up going pretty well. Loda was able to just do what he needed to do, drop the call down. I thought Pycat was that for sure. I did too. He had the weave, he had net, and he got he got hit by the Riptide as well. But then nice jump and I mean it took about 17 minutes, but we saw the uh, Bat Rider get on in there yep. and that forced him to try to get the hell out of there. So hi everyone, how we doing? Doing alright, man. We're already in the Christmas cheer here in the early part of December, enjoying some. Summit Dota. So, what do you want for Christmas there, uh, Merlini? Not much. Not much? Such Not a nice much. guy. I don't really know either, man. I told a story on stream about my Christmas shenanigans. What? Well, well, my parents, uh... Well, this... I don't even know. Uh, I, anyways, long story <laughs> short, my parents gave me, like, these, uh... It was like kind of, kind of like a Happy Meal toy for for my wow, Christmas Wow, you were gift. spoiled. I know. Wow, and Happy Meal we, toys? Uh, it was from KFC.
though. It was like Ooh, not were, even real cups. Happy Meal toys. Yeah, it's like they were like little cups. Colonel, there was Colonel uh, toys. Bugs Bunny on one face. It, and it seems like we might have an AOI too cozy look joining at, us. Look at that, What's up, dude. Who gave you that? Oh my god. Wow. I'm so jealous. I'm actually. Are you a wizard? Pretty cold right now. This is good shit. <laughs> wow. You know, snuggy dance, you know? Who gave you that? Oh god. Who that snuggy that? Dance? Wow. Here at the summit, it's pretty cold in the house. You can tell from uh, Owie's wardrobe. That is cool. Uh, that plus uh, hand warmer is set. Mike from touching my mouth. You can't bend. Oh, there we go. Nice. There nice. you go. We've been sharing a lot of mouth germs so far, so don't worry about it. Just take it in. Dang. Amazing. Amazing. You are intense. Did the game end? N no. no. What do you pause. think happened? Um. Who do you think's gonna win? I didn't do you even know who's playing? Oh. It turned off. <laughs> it turned off upstairs. And, do you uh, know who's playing? Yeah, Team Tinker and Secret. Yeah. Do you know Good the lineups? EJ was Wisp. Yes. Yeah, they also have know. a Pycat Lotus, Axe. Lotus. Yeah, there's an Axe and a Gyrocopter. Yep. Good shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doing pretty good there. You passed the quiz. Yeah. He's, oh, he's well. Do I hear noises? I hear. Nope. That's still the pause. That's that just. That's just sounded like Wisp. That's just Wisp being tethered. I saw Crow could skip that essence shift. That was weird. Yeah, why? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm not too sure that was. Same it's thing. actually really weird. One point's good. Amazing. There we so go. It looks so like we're underway again. Back in it to win it right now. Pycat coming off a nice little mega kill streak for himself. Another couple of chops. Your axe is farming it pretty nicely, putting a good mid game tempo for himself, allowing uh, their gyrocopter to kind of build up some farm because. Uh, on the other side, Kuro with his unorthodox build, and, well, you see it right there, the back end of it, your Wisp does go down. It's a quick grab for Kuro, who continues to farm it up. That DD certainly helps. Point booster picked up on the Slark. And also a tower deny right there. Ooh, hops right over, leapfrog style, on top of bat. Will get hit there from the flame break. Oh, nice call right there. He's going to grab Kuro in his place, and now, three on one. Kuro oh, can't get away from this, oh, so. Oh, cooldown still. That's right, he missed it before. You know. So, hey, I mean, it's a, it's a Wisp for Kuro Slark. I mean, yeah, like how are they going to kill this axe? Call is so good for Shadow Dance. It is. Mm. It's incredible. So I mean, he, to be fair, he didn't have to stay, stay around that long. Yeah, of course. I think he was trying to play around and then he... Did he even get his Midas off before he died? I know he had it up. I don't think so. Oh, man. That's a full duration Midas off. Yeah, that's the worst feeling. Yeah, it is. It really <laughs> is. Definitely, the worst feeling Definitely worth buying back and using it. Yeah, you Ooh. should buy back. Vanguard. <laughs> Someone pike get yeah, nice Vanguard pick up. So you actually have to go Vanguard on Axe now, I think. Yeah. You don't you don't farm anything if you don't have the Vanguard. You get too low from neutrals and then you can't fight. How do you feel about going finishing up the Crimson Guard? Uh Crimson Guard I think is really good. I think here. it's really good versus Panda. Yeah. Hmm. All those bears are gonna be hitting yeah, the I pillows. Think, I think Axe is gonna be a big problem. I don't yeah, know. He's gonna gonna be, stop I don't know how they're gonna kill him. With he's a Crimson lot. card and overcharge. He jumps in the midst of some ugly treants. He's gonna get what he wants as far as the thing is they're gonna have to focus that axe. Yeah, they, he's actually a pretty good late game because like call is black hole, you know? There's yeah, it really down. is. It's it is a black hole. Ten, it, ten if you get a cool US scepter, you can call and then you scepter yourself, it's a black hole. And they're busy all down. addressing <laughs> the axe, you're you're allowing the gyro to kinda do what he wants too, so it's going to be hard to find the right objectives in the heat of the moment of some of these fights. Loda did actually opt to go for the BKB first item. Yeah, we were, we were questioning that. I mean, it, I guess it ends up working game. because now, like, PyCat is such an issue. Like, yeah. They can't even get to Loda. They, they, they have, have to get through everything else them, first. Yeah. They're going to neglect the gyrocopter if they're going to have their hands full of this axe. So. Pretty nice right here. Rune is S4 up, Ben. Do you guys talk about the S4 rune a lot? Yeah. <laughs> he got, I, I heard he got the S4 rune at 4 minutes and then 8 minutes. And he just sometimes he just casually has one in his bottle. That's good. Some good luck. It's good. It's pretty good at picking up runes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. That's one of the things I'm pretty good at in Dota. Is I can pick up runes okay, but everything else seems to be a bit fuzzy. But sometimes it's hard if people are standing on it, dude. Oh, Axe is actually six two zero, huh? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. crushing the game. Right sort of the first half of this game, so. Well, he's been really close to dying a few times. Did he start in the jungle? Yeah, yeah he, he had a really nice rotation top. He smoked mm. up, went behind the tower. They killed Simba yeah. for first blood. Then he rotated bottom, got another he kill. He sacrificed a pretty weak offlane for Bulba, but it clearly is paying off for him nicely now. Here, jump in. There's your call. Okay, and S4. And, well, Big Daddy is going to be with the song to 8 out S4. And the relocate as well coming no, through. No, he's not in trouble. TPing out. Yeah, for some he's not going to be able to make it away. He might have to be the sacrificial fish for this one, and he will be the secure with the coil. And I guess they wanted to try to fight because it looks like everybody else was rotating. No, nope. here we but go. That looks crazy. Well, S4 is back in it. Like, hey, I, I kind of want to fight, but now he's like, no, I changed my mind. Homie Missile is going up. A Kuro now, jumping on forward. Puck a lot of damage. Here we go. Simba gets in. Sprout there in the middle of a call down, however, with a BKB popped. A lot of focus fire happening here on Simba, but there's the spins that continue to come out. And there we go. Shallow Grave, desperate here for Simba. They do take down Loda. Nice grab for them, making it a two for one. And, well, 
Now it looks like Secret looking to clean up the pieces here and catch anyone else on the way out. First significant fight I've seen from Secret in quite a while, though. Two for one. Guess that's why Noto didn't leave. They were all just rotating up there and it just ended up good, being nice. They got team. a nice nice high weave up. S4 finished off his Vlads right before they engaged that fight. Good heads up to turn around and make the best of it, so... Now they kind of add the cherry on top if they take a hold of this tower. A little bit of extra gold in the pocket because I was beginning to question, what's the what's plan B here for Secret if they're going to have their hands full with this axe? Kuro just got so fast? rich. Hmm. He actually almost has his Scotty at this point. Yeah, that's, oh. that's kind of cool. They use the weave and then once the weave stacks up, they can go on the axe. Once they kill the axe, Grave is yep. pretty useful. And they can round just bypass two on front line. Big daddy here. Highway pursuit chase right now. We're going sky cam oh, he's on going this one. For it. Oh, jump! Pounce back. Pounce missed. Oh, they grab. There's the spin. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Sushi chopped up. Sashimi style. Double kill right there for Pie Cat. They take down one. They take down two. Nice grab. Serve it up on a platter. Charge $33 for it. Silver price. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> a little lemon juice. Why not? There we go. So they immediately fire back. Two for nil. Crimson, too. Yeah, and he finishes it up. This game's all over the place now. It's action packed. I love it. Yeah, it's good. 13 to 11 here. Uh oh. Solo coil right now for Sing Sing. Invis rune. So for some rotation, there's your relocate coming on in. Can they get a hold of S4 here? 26 seconds and, well, convenient Invis rune. S4 with his <laughs> magical rune bottle <laughs> oh, to walk on. away. Oh, they didn't have the gem there? <laughs> Uh-oh. I guess, yeah, he wasn't there. Bat's got it now. Chasing forward. No oh, lasso. Eats the clap and... That's awkward. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it's engaging you want to go for unless you have your ammunition, so... Just kind of flies away from that. And Maybe they'll find those two wards that were just recently placed with that gem, though. Oh, yeah, that is some very aggressive vision right there for Secret. Holy moly. Unorthodox wards as well. I mean, the middle one, not so much, but that top one is a bit... Yeah. Uh-oh. Jump, clap. They want Loda here. And Loda... R rotations are coming. He pops his BKB. He's going to put up as much of a fight as possible because PyCat's here now going to the back end line. Simba, a Kuna Matana if he can chop him down. Oh no, he can cycle it up in the air. Simba making a run. Blinks away. Should be able to TP out. Can he make it away? Oh yes, he can. Nope, not today, sir. So Simba makes it out. Nice cycling coming out from S4 and still. Oh, uh, <laughs> spin didn't catch that him? Spin almost did. Wow. I thought it did. I thought it did too. Able to blink away. Even has the battle hunger. Look at this, Kuro not done yet. Into the trees, Pie Cat Sprout, Vision. Nope, not going to quite be there. And another escape, man. Slippery. They have a pretty difficult chance of to stopping TPs on the secret. They need the Naga there for the most part, or a Panda ulti. 11 to 13. Or level 4 point. Kuro <laughs> up above in net worth right now in your slurp. I think, I think Puppy usually it. actually does max the poison touch relatively early, yeah. so. And I lied. He skips Grave to level 6, so. Yep. He always gets that second point of uh, poison because you can't bottle through it. The first oh, is point, that why? yeah, the first point you can bottle through and salve through, but the second point you can't. Well, the more you know. I'm not sure if that's why he does it, but I mean that's what would make sense to me. Oh, here we go, smoked up. Looking across the river here with Pike at lead the charge. They get a good call on him and burst him down, and they're going for it right now, right into the heat of these ancients. Relocate even coming in. They have the whole posse for this one, but S4 already hits the deck, and it's a quick grab right there for Team Tinker. Farm-wise, it seems like both teams are pretty even, but Tinker, I say, has a lot of momentum. The Brew ult has fallen off, I'd say, it wasn't even that strong in the first, like, 15 minutes. But he can't really kill that many uh -oh. supports with it. Oh, whoops. Does miss the pounce, and EGM does tether away from that one, but Simba, get the hell back here. Drops oh, down the call. Oh, call Big call, BKP. The song going to be called out, but it's too late. Simba already down. They wipe another. Oh, and they get Puppy as well with the jump. Four down. Can they get five? They want Kuro right now. Team Taker looking to clear out, and they get it done. Five for none right now. EGM Unbelievable. with the, ma the master bait. Woo! That got ugly real quick. Team Taker, man. Back of this PyCat Axe and a huge call down play right there. Secures him a huge team play and sweet little tier one tower on top of it. Really nice by Sing Sing and Loader. Look at that graph go back down. Real quick. Speak of them speaking of that momentum. Here we go. Alright, so Team Tinker now controlling the pace. It seems pretty back and forth, but that's gotta be a, one of the most significant turns we've seen so far. So as we approach the Close to 30 minute mark here. What do you think Secret have to do now? I don't know why they didn't get a Lincoln's on away. Slark. I think Lincoln's would be really good. It's good versus Lasso and Cole. I guess it can get popped up by Magic Missile, but I still feel like he needs more defense and Scotty might not be the best item for him.
<laughs> they sort of lack damage on the team, to be honest. So, like, if you go for Lincolns, you might just not be able to kill anyone. Yeah, that's true. But I. It's like Secret Slide up sort of weird in that their supports really can't do anything. Because it's a Naga and a Dazzle, so they need basically Slark or Panda to be able to initiate in order for the support to actually have any impact on the game. So we got a Dagon coming out for Sing Sing and a Four Step coming out for Podcast. So he's not even going to go for that Ags on the X. The Dagon's super good pick up this game, I think. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just misses it. Very nice blink by Simba. Yeah, nice reaction time right there. Quick double back. Now your coil's going to be down and. We'll see if Seeker want to take advantage of that with the coil not being at the ready. Maybe they can look to push the pace here. As far as towers go, there's still 2-2. Two, two. two tier 2 standing on the side of Team Tinker that they can go on up. Neither team really even want to consider Roche whatsoever. You got a Bat Rider on the dire side. It's not going to be easy whatsoever, so it could be quite a while. Yeah, now he finishes up his Ive Scotty on the courier now, too, so it's not too, not too bad. 27 minute blink, Midas Scotty. He got slowed down a lot. Is it enough, though, Fogged? Is it enough? I'm not sure, man. We'll I guess find we'll out. See. All this and more. Secret vs. Team Tinker Summit. Game number two today, <laughs> believe it or not. Game but number two. I don't want to jinx anything, but so far it's going a little more smooth. Yep. Here we go. Game looks like it's slowing down a bit. Yeah, this itemization really taking priority for both the teams, it would appear, even after the Scotty grab and recent grabs of that Does Dagon and Force. I can't to see Force. if Loda has a Dominator. Is he stacking up the Ancients? He did have it looked like it, right? Morbin Mask, so yeah, I would assume yeah, so. Yeah, okay. Because I saw that, yeah, okay. So I saw Secret had like a <laughs> Warren watching, but I wasn't too sure. Yeah, Loda, Loda all of a sudden has some nice little items on him, so... Getting the, if he gets that Butterfly r pretty soon, it's going to be yeah, pretty copter. difficult for Secret to kill him. It's going to be dishing some serious freaking damage right here. Yeah. So you goodness. can't isolate him with BKB oh, either. Oh, Pycat. He's, ta he's ta too tanky. close to the enemy. Oh, just below the him. They're making it go on EGM, and they do take him down quickly. And Pycat. Oh, wow. They actually put out the Wii for that one. Oh, Sing Sing gets a nice grab right there. Takes down Simba in the off lane. Nice little solo grab for him, utilizing that Dagon for the first time since he picked it up. And now, with that, this is medallion. the first time we will see the Roche grab with that medallion. Yeah, it certainly makes it quick. Bulba, is he nearby? It's Batrider, and, well, actually, they quickly pull back. That's that's a crazy place to go. Mm -hmm. Trying to do that versus a Batrider and everything yeah, that Tinker has. Flame break grab, it's, it's scary. We'll see here is keep on farming forward from both sides. It seems like until they get loaded as items together, they're not going to look to go on any sort of additional assault like they have previously, and... Seeker going to look to try to contest that potential assault that could be coming their way, or maybe look to go on their own here. Pop the smoke and now look to head to the other side. If they get a nice big pick off here, they could go for the Roche then. Yeah. I feel so. Here we go. They could sweep in from behind here and get a hold of potentially. Oh, they, oh, they go the right into the Roche. Okay. Tinker, do they know? They're nearby, but don't seem to have an idea quite yet. And they see him now with that ward. So they know they're Well, they can always just sleep right before, too, and only Ooh. Gyro can act, so yeah. I think this Roshan is already pretty safe. That was that was a very smart s s fake back into a smoke Rosh. Nice quick grab, and you see the Aegis going to go into the pocket of Kuro. Here we go, Team Tinker, who felt pretty ahead in this one now. That ward has paid its dividends, too. Yeah, for a lot sure. Of, a lot of good, interesting, unorthodox warding this game coming out yep. from Secret. That's definitely been working out to their benefit, so... How do you feel about the four stuff on the axe? Instead of like a blade mail or something. I saw. I forgot who I saw use it. Uh, it was um, we a BBC. So what he did was, he blinked four staff, and then while he's facing you, he will four staff you back into his team, and then they'll just crush you. And so oh, it's kind of okay. like a. You can actually use it as a lasso. Yeah, it kind of yeah, is like a lasso, like yeah. a lasso or a mini swap. And you call and you four you staff, four staff really away. Good. Okay, yeah. that's pretty yeah. interesting. You need a four staff for uh, Yosef. Oh, it's getting messy here. Right in the midst of it. Call down right in the fray. Sing Sing going to pick up a quick kill on Big Daddy. And they do take down Loda. Simba trying to get away clean. Can't do so. A double now for Sing Sing. And Kuro it's on the hunt is going to be Pycat. Jumps on forward. Not getting the spins yet. Just the one-on-one -on -one not going to work. He's going to need more assistance here. And you see EGM looking to come on forward. The balls connect, but he just goes right to the low ground and turns the corner. This Slark, now with all those additional stats, is going to heal on up and walk away from this one. On the bottom hand side, though, Puppy not going to be so lucky. Gets grabbed right there. Another grab for Sing Sing's puck. And, well, PyCat 
This time in this fight, well, not gonna be full damage, HP, but he comes right back in with that full HP and just kind of a, a lot of stats clap. too. Oh boy, here we go. Sing Sing going on a tear though with this puck and Pycat able to pick it up. A good grab for them and Curl low once again able to just pounce away from this one and heal on up. Three for two, four for two. The end of that. Loda got wrecked by the weave that fight. Weave plus medallion. He just got focus fired extremely hard. He didn't finish up his butterfly before the fight happened, so. Very flimsy gyro after all that armor is taken away and promptly Secret return back to their farm here. No real, a lot of big rumbles, but no follow up objectives as of yet. Solo objectives finding a rush here and there and a bit push, but. Not quite enough to really follow through with any big... When did Sing Sing actually buy that first Dagon? I feel like it was like three or four minutes ago, and now he already has a Dagon 4. Yeah, about five he minutes ago. So. pretty early, I think. Yeah. He's did actually it? playing super well this game. Yeah, he and is. I think he went to proper item build. Like, I really don't like the Midas stuff. And I think if he got it, like he would have had like half the impact he's had. Yeah. yeah. Dagon's he's so good for C supports. Yeah, he's been pretty on point, honestly. Yeah, he played All super, over the super well this game. Panda finishes carrying, up AC. Yeah. Oh, you see your AC now going to be complete on your S4. That 16 utility. AC Vlads. Yeah. Adding a lot for his team and himself. Damage coming together. Looks Gone like Noto's is the old Agnes. Yeah. Looks through. like Noto's actually going to go for that Relic on the Nog, I think. Really? All right. They do so. need more damage. They severely lack on damage, especially when uh, Kuro has to run away in Shadow Dance or just gets called. Like, it's really limited. Adding to that late game flare now with that Naga. We'll see. In the bottom, we could see a tiff by the rune. Pycat scouting it out. And Bulba looking to blink on forward here. They're going to get vision. Ooh, they don't want to make the jump, though. Well, they, he still has Aegis, right? Yeah, he still has Aegis for at least like two more minutes, I'm pretty yeah. sure. It was, at, it was at like 30, 20 or something. It's a weird time for a smoke gank. Yeah. I'm not sure what they were trying to get there. I'm curious to see if Secret want to take advantage of that Aegis before it goes. Dagon 5 finish now. <laughs> They can burst. blow Panda up so quickly now. Because yeah. he's got a lot of armor, but yeah. his effective HP is not very good versus magic damage. Grave won't matter if you get dunked. Oh, I mean. Loda finishes up that butterfly. Yeah, he hits hard, and he's hard to hit now, too. Is anyone going to be throwing together an MKB any relatively time soon What's on the side of for Secret? Now? He's got a Basher finished up. Yeah. Uh, they're they're going to need to just hex him, I think. I think like yeah. once Furon, they basically need to wait till Furon hex before they can do anything. <laughs> He's not even. BKB actually. Yeah, it's going to be a long ways before we see something like that. So, Loda maybe might we'll be able to do like, what he wants. Maybe we'll see the Naga go for it or something. I didn't see if he bought the Relic or whatever yet, but that's I, true. I think he's just going to go Radiance. Yeah, probably. They really do need something though, because fighting's hard for them. And on top of that, you have that axe coming in. Tinker has triple face. blink, so yeah. I mean, rating's pretty nice. Ooh. All right. Nice little hello, how you doing, Dagon, right there. <laughs> Put so down much of his life. life. He's oh, expiring in about all? 10 seconds. Uh oh. Yep. So they're going to get the hell out of there. Midas is coming online, too. Very important. Yeah, I don't think they can take straight 5 on fi five and 5s anymore, unless they have Aegis or All right, something so big coming out. So we out. had a very long spawn. We got, I think, like, what, maximum maximum duration spawn almost. What? No, it's actually almost that's minimum. That's like 8, 8.30. Oh, 8.30. Sorry, that's his low one. Whoops. I was thinking 8 minutes plus 3. They don't utilize Math's the Aegis, though. <laughs> Math is hard, indeed. Hey, look at that. It's a bounty room for S4. Uh, you got to get that third party yeah, new, back up going again. That's new. Yeah, alt tab, make sure your rune hacks are working. Each team playing a pretty. What's Pycat gonna buy next? Right here. Yeah, on his axe. Let's see. Shiva's Mod? probably? I don't know. For AC or Shiva's? I think he needs armor. Still. Yeah, to counter the weave. That certainly wouldn't be too bad. Shiva's or AC? I think one of either, either of those. Adding two to himself fine. and his team. Yeah, maybe an AC. Oh, Simba might get picked off here if he steps up at all. He wants to. Oh. Yeah, but what's CP? No, he TP's out. Singh's not going to have the opportunity to grab a hold of that Fury on. And top lane, though, is potentially where it could be at. Both big cores jumping in. It is going to be Bulba grabbing a hold of him, but immediately countered with the song. Kuro slowed down a bit from that call down, but is able to pounce away from this one. Big He's also there switching to the MKB, not completing a pistol. Yeah, grab that Demon Edge. That's probably Smart a good call. Yeah, yeah, otherwise. 
like Team Tick. Uh. Ooh, 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 ooh. EGM, not the you want to be on. Tether's back over home here. Towards his low to ally, pops his BKB and tries to dish out the big damage there on Big Daddy. But look at it going from behind. S4 knows the proper target, taking out EGM's Wisp, but he does get it. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, Pycap going toe to toe with Simba. It's going to be Sing Sing, though. It gets a nice cleanup, taking down that Dazzle. So support down for support. And Simba, very low life. Oh, he's able to weasel away the long ball orb. And Sing Sing trying to catch up, does get it right there. With Coil to get it done. And Daggins on S4 right now. Silent Sing Sing. Looking to get away from this still. Yule's on cooldown, but nope. Kuro says, hi, how you doing? Leaps it's right a in his big face monster kill for Kuro. Oh, man. Big Daddy also. No. Battle Hunger. Another gem. Yeah. But they're going to be able to recover that gem. Oh, gem on the down. But I, think yeah. that was the I think that was his original gem, actually. There we go. Three for three, but... That fight was actually really, really good for Secret, though, because they had no song, and they would have had up before song. So if Team Tinker had backed up there and smoked, they would have got a really good fight. Yep. It was going to be... Uh, actually, it would have still been night, so it would have been sort of weird, but I still think that could have been Team Tinker's like, game-breaking fight. They weren't quick yeah. enough to stop Panda ulti. Yeah, yeah. and now I think while Kuroki finishes up his MKB, I think the Naga basically has Radiance off of that too, but he died. Yeah, that was a really big fight to lose. Yeah. And then, they I don't know if they can control next Roshan off of that too. How, what level is Siren? Is she 16? Nah, it's uh, 13. 13. She's, She's been underleveled. She's going to have it again, though. It's really hard for... like. It, the game's sort of weird, though, because like, if Batra gets BKB, they don't have any counters for it. So if he can grab a Naga, like, they're going to have a free kill every time, late game. Naga's rarely out in front, though. It's always Kiro on Pike gets going to be in a bit of trouble uh -oh. here. Uh-oh, you can't spin away from this one, buddy. But Relocate is coming in. Pycat already goes down, but can they get some redemption here? Oh, big damage! Right in the middle of him, but Kuro pulls out his Shadow Walk and is able to pick up EGM. Oh Pycat buys back into this weave. one. But the armor slowly withering away from Loda, and he is just cleaned up very easily, and now... Die back as well. Yeah, secret. Clean house, and they're going to be the ones looking to go for a full wipe right now. If they can get it, they take down Bulba, Sing Sing the lone survivor, but make it five, as that is a dieback indeed for Pycat. Uh-oh, oh. He was really late on the call, the initial call. I feel like he could have survived. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh, they do want that five man. Got the Yules. Ah, yeah, there we go. He should be able to get out of this with Fish Shift and Blink. Ah, uh, not with that. Oh, look, look, look at him way up and above in the base. He's going to try to go the other way and uh, won't even have the chance. All five go down. Six total if you count that die back and already taking high ground. There's real objective gaming after that big team fight in secret now. Taking the base, taking the racks. That's at least two racks. Wow, that escalated quickly. Oh, it looks like they just want to go for the throne. throne. Well, yep. wow. that right-click damage. They need like a defensive relocate or something. The late game weave is so darn good. Yeah, Loda, even though he has butterfly, he didn't even have MKB finished up yeah. on Kuro, and he just, just melted him. Right for the jugular. EGM, please don't do that to my base. Not to me. Goes down. He's gone. And that's that. Wow. Well, Very abrupt <laughs> ending. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your, here's your carrot, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> you want it, Curtis? What? That's all it takes, Clear man. It, dude. Team Tinker go down. Secret now. 2-0 and o here in the thing? Summit 2. Yeah, the thing. I worked. Tinker looked good, though. I thought they looked pretty damn good yes. early on. It just they looked like they just kind of like fell apart at the end there. Yeah. Just like one bad team fight, and that's that's the game right there with one bad one sleep and not reinitiating properly. Rough stuff, but there you see Secret walking away with...